Located in the center of Coex Mall, Starfield Library is an open public space where anyone can freely come to sit down, take a break, and immerse themselves in books along with other bibliophiles. A wide selection of books in various genres such as humanities, economics, hobbies, etc. are readily available. Whole sections of the library are dedicated to foreign books and famous authors iPads can be used to read ebooks, close to 600 magazines. Domestic and foreign are available for browsing. Forbes Korea has finally released its much awaited annual list of the most powerful Korean celebrities. The list is a catalog of the most influential stars in Korea, who've made breakthroughs with their achievements, social media popularity, media appearances, as well as massive earnings. From global entertainment frontrunners like BTS and Blackpink to beloved Korean personalities, including Song Joong Ki and Yoo Jae Suk. The list comprises the best in the Korean entertainment scene. The list also features popular singers like Young Tak and Jang Yoon Young, who successfully cemented their power in Korea with their diverse music styles. This wall can be seen in one of the train stations in Seoul to give honor to their famous personalities in different industries. Can you name some of them? Comment their names in the comments section. The Korean Wave Hallyu refers to the global popularity of South Korea's cultural economy exporting pop culture, entertainment, music, TV dramas, and movies. Hallyu is a Chinese term which, when translated, literally means Korean way. It is a collective term used to refer to the phenomenal growth of Korean culture and popular culture encompassing everything from music, movies, drama to online games and Korean cuisine just to name a few. During former President Barack Obama's state visit to Korea in March 2012, he made reference to the Korean way, which was made the country's top priority by the government. South Korea is one of the only countries in the world, if not the only one, that has a dedicated goal to become the world's leading exporter of popular culture. It is a way for Korea to develop its soft power. Soft power is a popular term coined in 1990 by Harvard political scientist Joseph Nye. Join us as we play bowling before we fly back to the Philippines.
It is time for us to check in at our hotel near the Incheon Airport. The Golden Tulip Incheon Airport Hotel and Suites is a four-star hotel with 539 guest rooms. From the hotel you have an easy access to the Incheon International Airport by Airport Railway also goes to Gimpo Airport, Hongik University, and Seoul Station. Inside the room everything that you need is already provided, except for the food and drinks that you prefer to eat or drink. You have your own cabinet with hangers and bathrobes. You can also bring your groceries. If you want to cook and enjoy your staycation here with your loved ones. Their toilet and bath is equipped with hot and cold shower. Plus free toiletries inside. No need to worry with your towels and charger adapters. Bye for now, South Korea. Next season to be uploaded, winter in South Korea. Friday everyone. So we're about to go back to Seoul, South Korea. See you there. Hello, we're already here at Incheon International Airport and right now. We're just gonna have our snack. So this is my wife. Woo! Okay. So we're gonna eat sandwich and we're gonna have our snack before we go to Myeongdong to our hotel. See you again later.
We're going up to the Pachin Valley as we ride this lift. Pachin Art Valley is a former granite quarry, which today became a space devoted to art and culture. The valley is home to an observation deck, an art gallery and a performance hall. Also, there is a cafe, walking trails, a monorail and much more. A trip to Pachin is the perfect gateway from Seoul. We loved it. We enjoyed this view of white mountains because of the snow. Pachin consists of a beautiful setting for arts and crafts, which is why it is known as the Pachin Art Valley. This valley was transformed when Pachin organized an ecological restoration project. It was the first Korean project based on ecological restoration. After the transformation, this place became very popular and tourists started to visit Pachin Art Valley and now it is famous for its works of art. It was features in famous Korean drama. Pachin Art Valley is open all year round. We went here in the last week of January 2023 to experience the winter season. To get there from Seoul, we counted a little more than one hour. We spent pretty much the whole morning there taking our time, plenty of pictures. However, if times allows, there are a couple of more attractions nearby, such as the park of Pyongyang Land, with amazing gardens and forest as well as Sanjen Lake a bit more north. There is no subway to reach Pachin Art Valley, hence the best option would to take the car. Pachin is roughly 60 kilometers from Seoul. Thank you.